have finished drawing your one dessert item on your small piece of paper, um, you're going to then begin to color it. I'm using oil pastels for coloring, but you can use any material you have. It's nice when you pick a material that can blend. So something like oil pastels, crayons, colored pencils, where you can kind of blend in some highlights and some shadows. I'm coloring a little firmly, making the right side a little more shadowy and the left side a little more bright. Next step is we're going to cut out our dessert carefully around the edges. After your dessert is cut out, we're going to choose our background paper. So you'll have a piece of construction paper and a piece of scrapbook paper or painted paper. And you're going to maybe take some time deciding what combination is going to be the best for you. So I'm just trying out some different colors to see what's going to make my cupcake pop. In the end, I end up going with this burgundy and blue background, which I think complements the tones in my cupcake. After you've selected your paper, we're going to glue it all together. So the painted paper or pattern paper is going to be the table or surface your dessert will sit on. You'll want to glue that on carefully, trying to line up the edges the best you can. And you'll notice my bottom is not quite cut evenly, so I'm kind of creating a little overhang that I can trim off later. You want to spend some time making sure all the edges are glued nice and neat, and then you can glue down your dessert. The final step is to add a quick shadow. So the shadow should be in the shape of an ellipse. You could choose to do it on the left side or the right side or even kind of centered behind the object. The goal is really to keep it flat. In addition to using black, you could add in other colors. Wayne Thiebaud's shadows were not typically black. They often had a lot of different colors in them. So I'm incorporating some blue from my cupcake into my shadow. If you would like to draw additional details like a pattern in the background, um, you can also incorporate plates or forks or other details that are going to make your dessert really stand out. Thanks for joining us and always keep creating!